So here's a problem that I've actually made a mistake on twice, like two different times. Um, and it's because we're trying to divide by a fraction. So this is really tough. So the thing we want to do is get rid of the division by fraction and turn it into multiplication. Come on, just grab a seat. If you want to work on math, just grab a seat. So division is complicated, but we know it's just the like inverse or reciprocal operation in a way to multiplication. So we use this process called keep, change, flip. So a lot of you maybe had this uh, shown to you in sixth grade, or you might have heard it called keep, change, change. Um, some teachers do keep, change, change. So keep, change, flip says keep the first value, change division to multiplication, and this is just how we can change division to multiplication, and flip the number that comes after the division. So literally we flipped it, what was on bottom went on top, and vice versa. My right side stays the same, right? Negative one third stays the same. Now is where we are allowed to use reciprocals to equal out to one. So a fraction times its reciprocal is one. So if we take this fraction and multiply it by its reciprocal, our goal and this was always our goal, but I messed it up last time when we tried to solve. Our goal is to get to 1F. Right now, what we have, if I turn the multiplication order around, is actually 3 halves, like negative 3 halves times F. Right? Because these are multiplied, and order of multiplication can be switched. Yeah, I was just about to check. I think you guys are out of here momentarily. Or now. You guys got to keep track of eighth grade schedule. 38 actually is what I have that you're in here till 38. So you got a few more minutes. Now, like, if you're allowed to go early, you could, but I don't know that you guys are actually allowed. Like, I don't know if there's anywhere for you to go. I think you'll just end up stuck. You know what I mean? All right, so now we're going to use this reciprocal knowledge. So I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction that we're trying to get rid of. So, negative 2 over 3. Now, we also have to do that to the right side because we can't just do something on one side. So, we have to multiply by negative 2 over 3 over here. And, Bella, you're going to see, or sorry, not Bella, Maggie, you're going to see something really interesting. Um about this answer compared to the answer we just had when we got the wrong answer. This is gonna, negative one times negative two going straight across the numerator is gonna give us positive two, because remember a negative times a negative is positive. Three times three, nine. And I don't think this can reduce. Yeah, I think two nights. I think that's it. So go ahead and type that in and check that. That one's right. There we go. I don't know why my box got weird there. But F is two nights. We don't need to write one F. And the reason that we get one F, um, just to review that, is the multiplication over here, the numerator, would become negative six. The denominator would be negative six. Negative six over negative six is one. And that's how we get the 1 times f. But we don't need to write 1f, we can just write f. So the dangerous part with these problems is if we start with division, we really, it's easier to solve if we set up multiplication by doing keep, change, flip. 